minutes or five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. I expect a lot of the discussion today to be about, quote, codifying Roe. So I want to be very clear. Roe v. Wade never settled the issue of abortion. For decades, it's divided America in unimaginable ways over the sharpest, most soul-searching issue before us as a nation. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg said herself in 1985 that it has provoked, not resolved, conflict. She was right then, and those words ring true today. Further, Roe never kept up with the science. Because of technology today, we can see a baby develop day by day. Doctors perform prenatal surgeries to treat babies as patients in the womb and save lives. That wasn't possible in 1973 when Roe was decided. Decades later, look how far we've come. The first successful fetal surgery wasn't until 1981. In 2002, three American hospitals led the way in the mom's trial to see if babies diagnosed with spina bifida had a better quality of life after birth if they had surgery while in the womb. As Stat News reported, doctors stopped the trial early because the results were so conclusive. Fetal surgery was better for babies and their ability to walk later in life. As of 2011, fetal surgery for this diagnosis is a standard of care. In addition, the world's first successful fetal heart surgery was in 2016. Doctors removed a fast-growing heart tumor from a baby inside the womb at six months. Surely, these are medical achievements the American Medical Association celebrated to save lives. So I'm disappointed you're here today to advocate for an agenda for more abortion. I don't understand. Roe doesn't reflect the, the, the latest research or modern medicine. The science has evolved. We should be learning from this and come to reject abortion because it's inhumane. Now, nearly 50 years after Roe, the Supreme Court has affirmed the American people's right to speak through their elected officials and enact laws to protect unborn children. So the question upon us is, how do we want to define the human rights issue of our generation? Is it by dehumanizing life and promoting a culture that destroys the most vulnerable among us? Or is it by making abortion unthinkable, by leading a new era that celebrates the science and every person's God-given, unalienable human rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for all? Unfortunately, the Democrats are choosing a path of more pain, insecurity, and dehumanization. Last week, Democrats passed the Abortion on Demand Until Birth Act and Ensuring Access to Abortion Act this agenda is not about codifying Roe v. Wade. The Democrats' extreme abortion agenda goes far beyond that. While my colleagues across the aisle talk about 1973, this is the future they want to create in America. Abortions for all nine months of pregnancy, unrestricted abortions for any reason, including based on race, sex, and disability, the elimination of people with Down syndrome, the destruction of pro-life pregnancy centers, providing health care and helping women and babies, the denial of science and amazing medical achievements, and doctors and health care providers forced to violate their sincerely held beliefs and perform abortions. There's nothing about this agenda that celebrates human rights or the dignity of every person. This is not how I define a free and just society for my daughters and my son. Every person, born and unborn, has human rights. It's self-evident. And for America to be a more perfect union, our laws must reflect that. I hope today that we will have a more informed discussion about how we can build a better future so women and their babies have the love, care, and support that they need at every stage of life. Let's come together to help the most marginalized in society especially the weakest, helpless, most innocent and vulnerable who don't have a voice. I also want to thank and recognize Dr. Christina Francis with the American Association of Pro-Life OBGYNs. Your expertise is valued and I'm grateful that you're here today to dispel the fear and misinformation President Biden and the Democrats are, are spreading to promote abortion for all nine months. 
women everywhere deserve the truth. Thank you, and I yield back. The chair now asks unanimous consent that the members' written opening statements be made part of the record.